So Bitcoin is just a, uh, it's a form of electronic money, um, and with a traditional payment network like PayPal, the payments are made in dollars. Um, but Bitcoin is a completely autonomous, decentralized payment network, and so it's not based in dollars. Instead, it has its own currency just called the Bitcoin, and its value floats against other currencies the same way the dollar and the euro float against each other. Um, and over the last six years, it's gone up quite a lot. It was worth less than a dollar in 2011, and now, as you said, it's worth uh, more than $15,000. Could you buy a pack of gum, a car, a shoe factory with Bitcoin? Yeah, absolutely. There's a number of uh, companies now that will uh, accept Bitcoin as payment. Uh, Overstock.com is probably one of the better known ones. Um, and you can also pr pretty easily cash in Bitcoins for dollars and uh, buy things that way. But yeah, it's a pretty widely used currency on the internet. Is there a black market? One of the things you can buy with Bitcoins is illicit products like uh, drugs, for example. And it has proven to be a particularly uh, attractive application for Bitcoin because if you try to set up a uh, black market for drugs and accept credit card payments, mm -hmm. um, the credit card networks would shut you down right away. Um, but there's nobody who runs the Bitcoin network, and so uh, there's nobody the authorities can go to and say, uh, shut down this network or, or reverse that payment. And now it's, I think, more just ordinary people who hear about Bitcoin, obviously do some reading, have some understanding of how the technology works, um, but I think see more of uh, either a profit opportunity or just like um, the idea of it. Um, I think there's a significant uh, political strain behind the appeal of Bitcoin. People who don't like the Federal Reserve, don't like big banks, don't like financial financial institutions, there are, don't like taxes exactly. 20 years, please. Uh, 20 years, I think we will see an increasing number of digital uh, currencies being used. I think actually they'll be pretty much mainstream. I think they will be uh, probably some form of strict regulation and under control of what we consider government today. I think what we see in Bitcoin is an absolutely fantastic experiment. I think it's a brilliant experiment. Uh, and I think we're going to have to watch carefully to see the results. My personal opinion is that in, it probably will either have petered out or it will have morphed into something new. And there are things now that we can't imagine being without. And I think we are at a similar phase, so looking ahead 20 years. I think the vast majority of what we're looking at now won't exist in 20 years' time, but what will exist will have transformed the way we do not only finance, but a whole load of other things too. In a more steady way. For better, for worse. Yeah. I, you know, everything can be used for good or evil, and what transforms the world does not necessarily make it better. It just moves it on. Uh, is it going to be worth a large multiple of what it is now, and am I going to be able to exchange it from Bitcoin back to that large value? And the, the answer is, hopefully you won't have to. And we, um, we won't be calling digital currencies digital currencies, we'll be calling them currencies. But it has enough momentum and understanding and enough community and, and, and physical infrastructure and, you know, uh, and, and a huge ecosystem around it that I can't see this reversing.